So, uh, for February, we're celebrating Black History Month. Which... Just so y'all know, this was Vinny's idea. Yes, yes. Black History Month, by reviewing the worst matches <laughs> <laughs> on this yeah. Halloween Havoc 91 pay-per-view. Yeah, I watched about half the show when all of a sudden done, but uh, yes. Why? W- <laughs> you watched more than was required? <laughs> yes. Why? Because I'm a hard worker. I am <laughs> too, but I barely made it through the three horrible matches we had to watch. <laughs> it's all right. So WCW Halloween Havoc 1991, uh, October 27th, 1991, for those of you who care. History let's, let, made hold here. on. Let's explain this, okay? okay all right. the, 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 I'll explain this for Vinny because he's a marble mouth. Vinny decided. Great idea for podcast. It is, it is Black History Month, mm-hmm. and so we should watch matches, like historic matches involving black wrestlers. Yes. And this particular show had the first pay-per-view singles main event yes. by a black wrestler. It was Ron Simmons. Yes. I actually thought this was the match where he won the title, then I found out he lost. Mm-hmm. He won it on a house show. So, like a year later. Yeah, yeah so so we we decided to, to watch this show because of that match. Mm-hmm. But then Vinny said, just want to make sure Vinny is thrown under the bus here, <laughs> he said, you know... It's Black History Month, but also people like us to watch horrible matches. Yes. So why don't we watch some horrible matches from this same show? So that is how we are paying tribute to the great <laughs> black wrestlers in history, by watching horrible matches. And theirs. And theirs, yes. Yes, yes. Now, the horrible match, by the way, did involve another black wrestler, Abdul the Butcher. That's true. Who was fried to a crisp. <laughs> is that what happened? Yeah, that's what happened. He got put in a fucking electric chair. He had a seizure of some sort. He was murdered... <laughs> Yeah. He was murdered on air. He was murdered uh, okay. enough to stand up and beat on more guys, yes. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. No, he was dead at the end. He was murdered. Well, he was walking up the ramp. Oh, he made a comeback. Yeah. He, he beat up the ghouls. Yeah, Brian Clark was out there getting beat up. We're uh, getting ahead of ourselves. We really Sorry. are. We really Why don't are. we start with the Chamber of Horrors, an apropos name. I'm going to start at the very beginning of the pay-per-view. Show. The opening video package with the graveyard and spooky music, and ghostly images of the wrestlers, all of which look to have been produced on a Commodore Amiga. <laughs> that made me laugh. It probably was. It was 1991. <laughs> what do you think they were using, a MacBook Pro? So we have Jim Ross and Tony Schiavone are your hosts. They go to early this afternoon where Eric Bischoff is meeting wrestlers as they arrive in the parking lot. Mm-hmm. Cactus Jack and Abdullah the Butcher arrive in, of course, the cheapest rental car they could possibly find. And uh, some of the guys are there. And then Barry Windham and Dustin Rhodes pull up in a convertible. And as they're getting out, the enforcers, Arn Anderson and Larry Zabisco, they run in and they slam Windham's arm in the car door. Mm. Ah, he screams, ah. Dustin says, we got to get you to a hospital. And he runs around because Dustin's in the passenger seat. He runs all the way around the car. He launches Windham on his now broken arm into the passenger seat. And Dustin jumps in and drives Barry away. Mm-hmm. Oh, Diamond Stud and DDP was the other pair that showed up together. And uh, right. DDP thought Bischoff was a was parking cars now. Did you watch the uh, Dustin Rhodes match? I, in fact, did. Really? Yes. Oh, really? Let's finish. It was awesome. Well, it's just funny because we always talk about how incredible this <laughs> wrestling world is and this show that we do here. Mm-hmm. And uh, Steve Austin, Dustin Rhodes, time limit draw. And they go to the main event, which is, uh, of course, Lex Luger and Ron Simmons. And the announcers are talking about Dustin. And they're like, man, Dustin, keep your chin up, brother. One of these days, Mm -hmm. your day will come. (laughs) I was like, these Rhodes, man, fucking amazing. (laughs) So the Chamber of Horrors match. Yeah. They have the Thunder Cage set up outside uh, around the ring and encased in the ringside area, much like Hell in a Cell. And uh, several instruments of torture are also in the chamber. <laughs> like it's the match rest. itself? And then you win this match. This is what Jim Ross, and he's a pro, man. Jim Ross pulled all this off without breaking. You place your opponent in the Chamber of Horrors Chair of Torture <laughs> and pull the Fatal Lever... Rendering told helpless. you. And they cut to the lever, a close with the lever, and I thought, that's odd. Every lever I've ever seen, when you want to activate it, you pull it down. Sure. But this one's already down, so I guess you push it up to activate it. No. The damn thing broke. <laughs> yes. The lever broke. Sounds about right. And was out of position the entire match until the very end when they realized this. 
Here are your teams. El Gigante, Rick Steiner, Scott Steiner, and Sting versus Big Van Vader and the Diamond Stud, who you all know as Razor Ramon, and Cactus Jack and Abdullah the Butcher. Who you all know as Abdullah the Butcher. Yes. yes. Okay. If I, if I may, mm-hmm. I actually looked this up on Wikipedia because I was curious about it. Originally, the match was supposed to be Eligante, Sting, Steiners, and Oz, the Diamond Stud and One Man Gang. And apparently Barry Windham. Cactus replaced Oz, Big Van Vader replaced Windham, and Abdullah replaced Gang, who was out of the company by this time. What a load of shit. <laughs> I, I would have quit the company, too. And, man, they start wrestling, and it's terrible. It's awful. And then they explain nothing happens until the chair of torture drops from the ceiling. Yes. Which was a lie. I was like, what? Yeah, and yeah. Uh, at some point, they're just doing some shitty, shitty brawling. And a fucking chair begins to descend from an electric chair. Yeah. Starts to come down from the ceiling. And and Cactus is on the ground, yeah. and the chair is going to squish him. Mm-hmm. But he moves. Shockingly, nobody said a brilliant maneuver by Cactus Jack. I was sad that that was not explained. But the chair gets there, and then everyone's just trying to put everyone in a fucking okay. chair. You have eight human beings. Monsters, some of them. Huge, huge men. Mm-hmm. You have that tiny little WCW ring. Yes. Most of which is now taken up by this goddamn electric chair. And you have the ringside area. There's no room to do anything. Nothing. There's two coffins on the outside of the ring for some yeah. unknown reason. You know, Sean. Some random mask guy came out of one of the coffins. You. Who the <laughs> fuck was that and he why? never found out why there was a masked man in the coffin, He's what he was gimp. doing there. <laughs> hey, uh, it was, it was uh, Nick Patrick as the ref, right? Yeah, yeah. You ever you ever realize how much he sucks? <laughs> we, what we talked That's about what this, you got from this. Well, match. no, we talked about this all through the. He actually was a good referee and a good reputation, but like if you watch the Monday Night Wars, he was always put in a position to be a fucking idiot, wow. and uh, and so anyway, now I know why. They had this thing called the refer eye <laughs> cam. He was wearing like a. Fucking! It's like one of those helmets, like yeah, in the seventies, when your child had like a soft. No, it's a helmet you would wear for, uh, for like, uh, you know, those AI or whatever you put on your head. What do they call it's them? A bike helmet. It's a bike no, helmet. No, when you put that yes. helmet on your head for, for uh, what do they call it? They don't call it a helmet. Somebody help bike me. Like a Vision child. Pro. Yeah. For you know, you put the helmet. VR. VR virtual reality. Thank you. I'm very old. But anyway, he's got one of these on with a camera on it. The refer eye cam. Yeah. And so they cut to the refer eye cam. And you know what you see? Apparently Nick Patrick's going like this. He's like looking everywhere. Spastically. Head on I'm like, Bro, look at one thing for one second. One second. That's all I'm asking. He's just fucking out of his mind. I don't know why we had a refer eye cam. It was stupid. It added nothing to the match. It only took away from what was already horrible. So at some point, eight, nine, a dozen, whatever, white men come out. I don't mean Caucasian. I mean, they're all like pasty white, dress headed toe in white. Are those the creeps? What are these? The ghouls, Jim Ross <laughs> The asked? ghouls, yes. Yes. There were ghouls. So there's nothing these guys can do. There's one point in this match where there's nine men counting mystery, anonymous, unmasked, or uh, unnamed random guy. None of them were actually in the ring. They're all just doing stuff on the floor. It just goes on. Sting is bleeding. Vader is hitting El Gigante with stuff, and you can see him facially pleading with all his heart, please sell. Just sell a little bit. Just sell one thing. <laughs> so the, the idea... Well, actually, this took a while. Uh, they tried to be a false finish where Abdullah would throw Rick Steiner into the electric chair and Cactus would then go to pull the lever, but Rick could switch it. But Cactus' timing is way off. So he climbs that cage and he's by the lever, which, by the way, I forgot to mention, I did mention this a little bit, but yes, the referee is shown on camera climbing up the cage, reaching through the bars to turn it from on to off because it had been on the entire time. So Cactus climbs up there, and he's up there next to the lever, and he's way, way too early. And he looks back over his shoulder and says, fuck it, I'm staying. 
I climbed all the way up here. I'm not climbing back down. So it takes a long ass time, but Rick pops up to life, kind of, sort of, suplexes Abdullah into the chair, then has to strap in his wrists, then has to strap in his head, and then Cactus Jack pulls the lever, electrocuting his friend. The storyline is that Cactus Jack doesn't know that it has been switched. Yes. Right. And even though he's up there for five minutes by this lever, he does not take one second to look back and make sure that the right guy is in the chair. He just pulls the lever like an idiot, and he roasts. <laughs> he roasts Abdullah the Butcher. Abdullah the Butcher goes all Horace Pinker, and uh, he's dead. It's a shocker reference. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Great soundtrack. Uh, I laughed stopped, non, start to finish. I was laughing the entire time, howling with laughter. <laughs> <laughs> when when cactus is almost squished by the chair, come on, that's comedy. No, it wasn't. It was like <laughs> ten feet above his head, and he rolled out of the way. It wasn't yeah. even close to squishing. It. I know. God, glorious, glorious shit is how I describe this match. I would not call it glorious at all. There is a it was show nearly shit. There was a show called uh, the Grand Tour. Uh, the stars of this show used to be on a show called Top Gear. They often do wacky stunts that they know will go wrong, but sometimes they go way more wrong than they ever could have hoped. This was like that. Like, I'm sure, on paper, they knew this was going to be a disaster, but there's no way they could have been expecting a disaster this big. This is so wretched. It was awesome. Dying. <laughs> this was, my, at the time I wrote, this was the best, by which I mean the worst. Craig, do you have anything to add? <laughs> so, Adula gets put in the chair, and he shakes and shimmies. <laughs> And he's bleeding a little bit from one of the many crevices in his head. And and then they take the little helmet off him and they unstrap him. And he, the Lord didn't make a comeback better than this. He rises from the dead and he runs and he's like hitting all the ghouls. And then he rolls his ankle on one of the ghouls as well. It's an electric chair. It only incapacitated him for like 28 seconds. It's like Tor Johnson and Plan 9. Well, the space. fucking thing was broken. <laughs> it didn't get the full. Okay. No. I loved also, too, Cactus Jack was working so hard, and his he was bleeding a gusher, and he was taking the stupidest bumps. They had these huge wooden coffins in there. Rick Steiner grabs a lid to the coffin. He throws it straight up in the air, and Cactus Jack just stands there and lets it crash upon his head. They were taking sticks and they were breaking them over Cactus's forehead. He took so much abuse in this match, and it really was unnecessary. This poor guy. So I think you guys missed this earlier, but the first person to go into the chair of death or whatever it was was Rick Steiner. And he fought and got out. But right after he fought and got out, he turned around and went back in by himself and just started playing with the chair. Yes. He starts playing with the chair for some unknown reason. It's not on. And he starts playing with a little helmet piece, and he breaks it off. He broke it off, and it fell onto the seat, and then he walked out of the cage to do some more damage. That's what happened. So finally, when at the end, when Abdullah finally gets into the chair, he's sitting on the helmet piece, which is now broken off the chair. So Rick has to like work behind his flab. To get that helmet piece out and put it onto his head so Cactus Jack can fry the poor guy. Yeah, a lot of work to going into this suck match, which Dave Meltzer gave. Oh, gosh. Negative two stars. Wow. That's about right. That's generous. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.